first shell will be filled and the second one and the third one and so on. So this is the basic principle, Papa principle whose statement says okay, electrons in the atom are distributed in the order of increasing orbital energy starting with the one as part. Now to explain this principle there is a simple game which I want to play with you people and that is a very interesting game simple and interesting hopefully you will be understanding that Two electrons of s orbital in the third shell. 
it will be written as 3s2 again 6 electrons will be entered into the p orbital of third shell followed by 2 electrons in the fourth s orbital so we write here 3p6 and 4s2 then following this arrow 10 electrons will be entered into the d orbital of third shell followed by 6 electrons in the 4p and 2 electrons in the 5s orbitals so we write here 3d10 4p6 5s2 then 10 electrons in the 4d 6 electrons in the 5p 2 electrons in the 6s so we write here 4d10 5p6 6s2 now 4f14 5d10 6p6 7s2 this is the simple order of filling electrons among various shells and subshells of the atom following off bar principle now if I give you some examples for the building of electronic configuration say for example if I say you are asked to write the electronic configuration of sodium whose atomic number is 11 you must follow our principle to distribute these 11 electrons you must write 1s2 here 2s2 2p6 3s1 1s2 shows that k shell is complete 2s2 2p6 shows that L shell contains 8 electrons and it is also completed here while the last shell is M1 and that M shell contains only 1 electron in the S orbital here so this is the way you can write the electronic configuration of sodium atom this was atom it was having no charge but if I write potassium ion here carrying monopositive charge on it it shows that out of total 19 electrons potassium has lost one electron so the remaining electrons which have to be filled here is 18 now 18 electrons in the potassium ion are filled as following this upper principle 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s1 this is the K shell L shell M shell and the last one is N shell which contains only one electron it, one electron it has lost because I write positive I charge on it so it will not be mentioned here 18 electrons in all we have to add here so 2, 4, 10, 12, 18 electrons this is the configuration of potassium mode positive ion similarly the last example which I am giving to you is of fluoride ion and fluoride ion is mononegative ion it has minus charge on it minus charge on the fluorine shows that it has gained one electron it was having its own 9 electrons one more electron is that it has gained so now we have to fill 10 electrons in all in the fluoride, fluoride ion following the above principle I must write here 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 K shall complete L shall is also complete if this negative charge would not have been there the configuration to be written would be 1s2 2s2 2p5 but as you all know that I put minus sign over fluorine adder so showing that it has gained one electron now it will not be written as 2p5 rather it will be written as 2p6 showing that now it has become 10 electrons it has got 10 electrons one electron it has gained so in this way you can build up the electronic configuration following of power principle of various atoms of ions my dear students, here I am leaving today the first part of this lecture, electronic configuration. Inshallah, in my upcoming video lecture, 
he will be having the remaining rules to be discussed there the N plus L rule, the Hunt's rule, Pauli's exclusion principle for the electronic configuration of elements. Hopefully, you have understood all the things which I have explained. For the office for today, inshallah, we will be meeting in the upcoming video lecture. Thank you for the office. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.